It's August 4th, 2011. This monarch butterfly is emerging from its chrysalis. The scientific word for emerging is eclose. You can see the two antenna have emerged and notice the coiled two-part uh, spring-like device there by its head. That's called the proboscis. Later he's going to have to zip that up. You can see that the wings look small and curled. The abdomen is filled with hemolymph, which is the equivalent to blood in an insect. So right now it's very weak but it has a lot of hard work to do. At this point it will start to pump that fluid into the wings and it will work on zipping together the two sides of its proboscis. The proboscis is sort of like a drinking straw. See it? And it's it, right now it's in two parts and the butterfly amazingly has to zip those two parts together and it will use its tiny front pair of legs to do that um, so that it will be able to sip nectar from flowers. There's the proboscis. It's still in two parts. I'm going to take a stab and say this is a male butterfly. Uh, looks it appears to have a spot right there on the wing. It's hard to see underneath the wings. It's more prominent on the top of the wing. So it does look like a butterfly only has four legs, but it does have six. The two are very tiny in the front. They're dwarfed and um, makes the butterfly appear to only be a four-legged creature. But of course, all sin insects have six legs. Let's see if we can get close to the proboscis. Now it's using its two tiny front legs, which are kind of brushy looking, to zip the proboscis together. The legs are able to, they have little hooks on the tips of the feet which enable the butterfly to grasp the old chrysalis. It's important that it zips the proboscis correctly or it won't be able to feed. The wings are slowly filling with hemolymph. As the butterfly works on the Proboscis. The two antenna are hanging down. They're a sense organ. They're able to smell through the antenna. I know it takes about a full 15 minutes for the butterfly to um, completely fill its veins. But you can see the difference already. Beautiful creature.
I've already tagged and released 15 butterflies this season and this is the first time I've been able to capture eclosure on uh, on film it happened so quickly generally I'm watching and I leave the room for a second and when I come back the butterfly is out of the chrysalis so this is a uh, landmark moment for me there's the proboscis I always worry that they're going to fall off of here and sometimes they do but usually I can get them to attach to my you know walk onto my finger and I put it back up mostly they they're able to hang on now the butterfly will hang in this position for probably two hours before it should be handled at all um, so the wings are stiff and then another two hours before it can fly fully I generally will wait at least six hours to re tag and release um, sometimes if it's late in the day I'll wait overnight they don't really need to eat for a day after they eat close so it's safe to keep them overnight I do put cut flowers and sugar water inside the enclosure just in case somebody gets the munchies you can see his wings are really filling out it's definitely a he if you look right there on the wing you can see that little spot um, the third vein down from the left on the opposite side it will be much clearer that is a scent gland um, that only the males have now this is one of the butterflies that will um, migrate to Mexico it's a fourth generation uh, it will not become sexually active it will not reproduce but will concentrate on using its food stores to make the long trip whereas most of the other butterflies um, first second and third generations only live two to six weeks this butterfly it's possible that it will live six to eight months if it um, makes it all the way to Mexico many dangers along the way of course but we will be tagging this guy and hopefully he'll make it still working on the proboscis Let's see if I can get up close to that The wings are just about fully um, filled with the hemolymph. Sometimes an orangey colored substance will drip from the tip of the abdomen. That is not um, extra hemolymph, it's actually um, liquid frass, which is uh, their droppings. A hemolymph is green in color and the frass is orange liquid well I think that we're close enough to seeing um, the butterfly in complete size thank you sir butterfly for cooperating and allowing me to film you don't worry you'll be on your way later today it's only 11:15, so I will be releasing him today I hope you enjoyed the adventures of the monarch butterfly this season it's been really fun whoop there goes that proboscis again